Winter prep is more than just finding the sweaters and the slippers again. You also want to ensure that your home can stay warm without flames. Good Wednesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. In tonight's top story, Madison Porter joins us live in the studio on how to warm up safely. And there are several ways to do it, Madison. Amber and Tyler, other than furnaces, space heaters like this one and fireplaces are two common ways to heat your home, but they're also two common causes of house fires. There's a little bit of an uptick every year. Um, they definitely, they're a hazard. Nate Rice is Peoria's chief of fire prevention. He says space heaters are undeniably useful during the winter months, but... We have to be very careful of where we place them. Uh, we have to be very, very careful what we place around them. Keeping space heaters away from any material that can easily catch on fire, like blankets, pillows, and paper, is one thing to keep in mind while staying warm. Uh, the other thing with space heaters, too, is... They draw a lot of electricity, um, and so you want to be careful about where you're plugging a mammon at because they can overload a, a circuit pretty easily, um, and then that could overheat. That also means not plugging a space heater into an extension cord, only a direct outlet. Or maybe you prefer a fireplace, but after a chimney sits for the entire spring, summer, and fall, you want to get it inspected and cleaned by a professional. So the number one cause of chimney fires or fires in the house due to chimneys is lack of maintenance. Nick Hansen and his team make sure the flue that is designed to keep the fire and smoke inside the chimney is intact. There are no leaves or bird nests clogging the chimney and there isn't a buildup of creosote. Um, but the creosote itself that's inside the chimney flue that attaches to it, that can become combustible and then that's where we'll have a fire actually inside the chimney. And he says you can do your own preventative measures to keep a clean chimney. Uh, low smoldering fires um, is what causes the most soot and creosote buildup, um, but a hot fire, dry wood that's split and clean is the best thing you can do.